Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Eisenberg Skin Care. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to your channel. This is a channel where we talk about the science of skincare from a cosmetic chemist and a manufacturing perspective because that's what we've been doing here at Eisenberg Skincare for over 30 years. Today, we're going to talk about freckles. So there's a lot of questions about freckles. How do you get rid of freckles? What ingredients affect freckles? What are freckles? So here we go. Freckles, um, some people are, you know, naturally have freckles and that's just your pigmentation. So you can have spotty pigmentation in certain areas. Freckles usually land on the face, but they have been known to land on the shoulders and other body parts. So you could have freckling. Um, for some people, it is hereditary. And for others, you may not have freckles. And then later on, as you get older, you start to notice you start freckling. So this can be because of UV exposure, uh, sun exposure, it could be genetics, it could be a lot of elements, but it is literally your melanin lit up differently in certain areas. I always think about the skin. I don't know if you remember this uh, toy or game called Light Bright. So it was a board and it had pegs and you could put these little pegs in and they would light up and you could make all different designs. If you think about your skin, like a Light Bright board, some of those lights are a different color. Those are, you know, that's the melanin. It's lighting up differently in certain areas. So you don't have a uniform texture or tone on the skin. Some of them is excited and you will show up as freckles. What gets rid of freckles? Okay, so if, they're, if your freckles are genetic and you've had them all the time, they can get darker. They can get more prevalent with oxidative stress or free radicals or the UV. Um, and if you don't have freckles and you start to notice you start getting freckles um, and you want to deal with them, things to do for your freckles. First of all, laser treatment. Laser is known to really help. Fraxel is really um, good at dealing with the freckling. So what that's going to do, it's going to kind of burn that bit of melanin um, on the surface layer and a little bit down. And as the cells turn over, the idea is the new skin that's underneath is not as pigmented. So it will come through and it will be clearer or it will be lighter and therefore it will be much more even tone. So that's one element. The other is going with the exfoliants. Exfoliants such as AHA, alpha hydroxy acids, lactic acid, going with retinols, the retinols, and also the azelaic acid because that's going to deal with a lot of the UV damage. How this works, a lot of it works on the basis of helping to speed up the cellular turnover. So in essence, if you have a freckle or you have a spot on your skin that is, you know, three microns deep, for example, the more you can exfoliate gently, not rapidly, so don't get too enthusiastic, but the more regularly you can exfoliate and, and get the cells to turn over and move away from the thicker, darker ones, if you will, if they're freckled, and bring the lighter ones up, the faster you're going to see a fading may not be 100% removal because there still could be some staining, there still could be some melanin issues in there, but there's an overall fading that it can occur with the freckles. So they won't be as prevalent. It'll be much more even tone. So ingredients that address it, yes, alpha hydroxy acids, lactic acids, uh, glycolic acid, those are the alpha hydroxies. You've got retinoids that help with the freckling, also help with the brightening. Retinoids work a little bit more too in dealing with the freckles as well because retinoids also, it's more than just cellular turnover. It also helps with collagen quality. So that's the skin itself. That's the connective tissue itself and building new connective tissue. So if you think about building new connective tissue that's unpigmented, if you will, then yes, you're going to have more of a benefit of dealing with or clearing up the freckles by using a protocol with a retinol in it. But you want to be able to do this in a very smart way. So there are uh, also, you know, Arbutin, uh, kojic acid, licorice root, these are all really good ingredients that are all, even niacinamide, known for lightening, known for brightening. Glutathione, glutathiazole, amazing lightening, brightening ingredient that deals with pigmentation and freckling. But here's the deal. If you work, you know, every night on your skincare routine and you're doing your cleansing and exfoliating, you're treating and you're doing all your freckles, 
freckling stuff because your goal is to deal with the freckles. But then in the morning or in the winter time, you're not using sunscreen. It doesn't matter what you've done because the sunscreen is actually the second part of the equation when dealing with freckles. You should do something that, yes, is dissolving them, fading them, minimizing them, building new skin. But in the daytime, you have to do everything you can from interrupting that relationship between the sun, the UV, and your skin's melanin. You gotta cut that bond, because if you don't cut that bond, if you don't interrupt that relationship, the memory is still there in the skin and those freckles reappear. So it re-insults you over and over again. This is why you can be using really great formulas with really great ingredients that do lighten, brighten, fade, do all of that, but you're not seeing the results is because the second part of the equation is your behavior in the daytime when your skin is exposed, it's actually re-insulting or really recreating those that freckling or that pigmentation. So yes, there's a lot you can do for your skin tone, for your skin texture, for the freckles, for the visibility, for the melasma, all of those things. But if you don't follow up with the second half, you will not see the results that you're looking for and you will not be happy um, with the treatment. So it's, it's, you know, it's a daytime, nighttime kind of commitment that you have to make to your skin if you really wanna work on it that way. Um, if you have any questions and comments, I look forward to reading them. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this conversation about freckles. <laughs>